Hey guys, it's me, Dennis from Denmark. Um, I've been thinking tonight about some stuff. Um, as you guys know, I got a gastric bypass uh, about two years ago, and um, it's been going really great. Um, I've gained a bit of weight, slowly starting to get some control. Um, but as you can see, there's flubber. It's, most of it's loose skin, but there is getting a bit of chubbiness left, or back, come back. Um, it's about six pounds or something, six or eight pounds, but it's enough. Um, and I realized that one of the things that really is the problem to me is that, you know, most of my life has, you know, as an adult has been sort of not having... When I was overweight, I didn't have a job, and I was not a lot of money, and which meant not a lot of food, and it was, it's always been a comfort, so I bought wrong things, because I didn't have a lot of money, and the wrong things doesn't cost as much as the good things. And you realize that when you've tried to starve, even though one shouldn't think that I've tried that, but I really have, you realize that get scared of not having any food to really just gobble down and sometimes you try to to save some for later but it's it's it's, it's a comfort <clears throat> and I realized that what I have to change is my mindset around food uh, my husband is skinny like really skinny lost a lot of weight too a lot of weight and for him, it's a really calm process of eating. It's, it's, he doesn't think of food as a source of pleasure like that. I mean, he's a chef, so of course he's been dealing a lot with food, but <clears throat> it's more the fact that I, I, I still have that comfort theme and the fear, even though we have, we can afford food and stuff. It's like, Sometimes I still use it as a comfort, not a source of nourishment. And that's what I need to change and work on. And luckily I've got a great husband that will help me. Uh, I wouldn't say help, he'll support me. The, the work has to come from me, myself. So, um, yeah, just a quick thought. I know a lot of you guys that follow my videos, and it's been long a long time since I made another video my last video is called um, a lot of you guys haven't you know got weight loss surgery or or anything like that but you guys are always great listening to me so thank you for that and for some reason I have to mention pop rock 46 because she's awesome <clears throat> and I haven't commented on her videos for ages but I still love you and your videos and your you're that's it that's all and I just love you so oh by the way I made this I gnawed my nail down you see the red part on top that's my nail the white part from here to there is like no nail so I molded the acrylic nail nice and thin it looks thicker the thing about the 10 pounds put on is true but it's it's not thick it's it's correct uh, the nail business is going great. I'm an educator now, and uh, I don't like my rib cage. <laughs> Makes me look even more bulgy. But um, a lot of things, a lot of thoughts. Just wanted to make a video and give my thoughts to you guys and hope that this is going to sound so corny I really need a video response from somebody I have made hundreds of videos in a year and I've had three video responses because my my video is dead as boring I know but I would really love to get a video response it would mean a lot to me so somebody out there please give me a video response now be 
awesome 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 and to use the famous words of prop rock 46 that's it that's all